This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoDaddy. So up this week, celebrities aren't the only ones that get leaked pictures. Looks like the iPhone's following this Kim Kardashian around. We might finally know what the iPhone 6 looks like. It looks like Google's ready to kick the existing Nexus camera app to the curb and is going to update the native camera app for Android. This is from a roundup. Let's start just rounding them up in my rumor decks. We've seen plenty of concept designs for the upcoming iPhone 6 and even a few alleged leak photos. But earlier this week, we might have gotten our first look at the actual thing in the flesh, or sort of the flesh. Three new pictures reportedly taken at Foxconn's facilities and shared via Gino Weibo, if I pronounced that correctly, reveal what appears to be the back of a partially assembled iPhone 6. Unfortunately, the photos actually show a picture of the alleged iPhone 6 displayed in a computer monitor rather than the real thing. It looks as though the next iPhone could potentially feature slightly rounded edges and a protruding camera, similar to the current iPod Touch and very similar to the HTC One. It looks like it could be thinner than the iPhone 5S, certainly you'd expect. And finally, it looks like Apple is going to keep the headphone jack on the bottom of the device next to the lightning port should these pictures prove to be the real deal. Resisting rumors though claim the iPhone 6 is going to come in this many screen sizes. Uh, with Apple offering a 4.7 inch and fingers crossed, please do it, 5.5 inch option. So based on a recent report from Sonny Dixon, the iPhone 6 will allegedly also come equipped with an ultra retinal display at 389 PPI, 2.86 gigahertz AA processor, iOS 8, and sensors galore for activity tracking and sadness tracking. Routers, routers, roto routers, Said it's, it's Reuters. I know, don't yell at me in the comments. Said that it has learned that Apple's supply partners will begin building a 4.7 inch display up from the four inches on the iPhone 5 and iPhone 5S starting in May. So Reuters reports do line up with several rumors suggesting Apple is working on this many new devices with varying screen sizes and it builds on those reports by identifying who Apple selected to actually provide the parts. The news source said LG Sharp and Japan displays are still on board to build the screens, although it didn't really distinguish if all three would build both sizes. LG and Sharp are expected to begin production in June with Sharp starting next month. Notice no Samsung mentioned in there at all. Probably not a coincidence considering this lawsuit's going on like crazy. Reuters also said the 5.5 inch screen may face delays because of the Intel technology it's used on the iPhone screens and there are certain difficulties moving up to that size. And if history taught us anything, it's usually that we start to see iPhone parts link once the device enter production, which means we might start seeing some part suppliers spilling the beans as soon as next month. The increased production this summer suggests that Apple is indeed on schedule to reveal its brand new shiny device in September of this year. The moral is, if you're looking to get a new phone and you're looking to maybe pick up an iPhone, you should probably, at the point of the year, you should probably wait. And I'm talking to our camera guy, Ron, who just picked up an iPhone 5S despite us telling him to wait. Don't be wrong. You should probably wait. So we're friends. We can be honest with each other. Let's have rational discussions and say that Google's native camera app on Android is probably one of the weaker points of a pretty awesome OS. Most phone makers, for example, make their own tweaks to the user interface. And as of recently, we've even seen manufacturers like HTC add additional hardware to improve the camera experience. Google's apparently super aware that people are all like, stop it, camera app stinks. And according to Engadget, the company is working on a major update. Not Engadget, Google is working on the update. They are apparently going to allow developers to create third-party filters for the camera so that users can change the effects right from the app itself without having to open a silly third-party solution. Also among the features in the update is a 100% no-crop viewfinder, and then Gadget 7 will allow you to see the entire shot on your screen as you're taking it, which is super nice. Nokia and HTC um, and Sony have recently introduced software in HTC's case, hardware and software that allows you to blur certain parts of a photo and add DSLR bokeh effects. So Google's apparently working on an Allen's blur filter that will create the same kind of effect on all Android 4.4 point what have you devices, presumably only using software. The good news, apparently Google isn't going to wait until Android 4.4.3 or any major update to get this out to its peeps. Instead, they're going to release an update inside of Google Play separately so that everyone can enjoy the goodness at the same time and so that end users don't have to wait. More importantly, don't have to complain and not have to say carriers. What the heck? So Gadget didn't say the update's going to be available, but I'm saying soon. You can just say John Rettinger said soon. Go to your carrier. Be like, listen, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint. John Rettinger said it's going to be soon, put, put it on my phone. And if they get mad at you, you can just, just send them to me.
I'll take care of it. We take a quick minute to thank our friends and overall good peeps at GoDaddy. It's go time and GoDaddy is here to help you kick butt online. Start your website today with a $2.95.com. Let's say you've had an idea for a website and you always wanted to build it. You want to make a website talking about Eastern European and mountain goats? Well, now is your time. Go to GoDaddy.com and enter promo code TECHNO295, no spaces in there, to get your .com for just, you guessed it, $2.95. Some limitations might apply though, so check out the website. Again, TECHNO295 and start your mountain goat website. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. I hope you enjoyed me rounding up all these rumors for you. Please leave your comments down below where my pants are located or not located. You can't see below the waist. Uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Please give the video a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. And of course, check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Till next time, I am John Renger. See you guys in the next video. What's up, everyone? John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you want to check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.